Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a feature that's built into Canvas, and this offers accessibility options for the user. This is called Read Speaker, and if you will look on your screen, you should see a little gray box with a play arrow in it. And if you click that, it'll bring up a little menu that you can drag around. And if you hit the three bars, we can expand our options even more to show all of the things that ReadSpeaker can do. So I'm going to talk to you about a few of these and show you how to use them. The first one is the gears, which is the settings. And if you click on settings, it'll bring up options to personalize your reading speed, um, how you want words highlighted or sentences highlighted. You can change the font, the size, and adjust all the colors in there, and you can play around with that as you wish. We can go back to our three bars again and click. Our language is automatically set to American English. We currently do not have the ability to change that feature. If you move on to our next feature, this is called the Read on Hover. And when you enable this, you can hover the pointer over a paragraph or a sentence, and it will have the program read it automatically. And I'll show you how that works right now. So if I click that, I'm going to drag my bar a little bit out of the way. I'm going to scroll down, and you'll notice how you see uh, orange boxes forming and, and timers. So I'm going to go to this first one. I'm going to hover over it. It's going to load and it'll start speaking. To see a suggested daily schedule for you. So without having to click or scroll or highlight, it automatically read that for me once it loaded. Click for parents to access some parent-facing resources. So if that's an option that you like and find helpful, you can use that as you wish. I will show you a different option that may be a little simpler to use. If you click our next button with our little A up to a big A with our arrow, this is called Enlarge Text. This will show the text at the bottom of the page in a large font, and it'll kind of flash by quickly. But there's another feature with this one that I like that I think is very helpful, so I'm going to move my bar out of the way. If you go up and you highlight, you can quickly bring down a menu where you can listen. Welcome to your virtual classroom. And if you notice at the bottom of the screen, it flashed that for me too. It can also look upwards for you and translate them. So I like to leave that feature on actually at all times because I find that the easiest way to pick something to read because I can quickly highlight it. And I can click listen. Click on schedule to see a suggested daily schedule for you. And it'll read it right there for me. So I like to leave that on. And when it's on, it's got the green little dot there in the corner. Our next one is a simple view. This just makes the text that's on the page look a little different. Um, it formats it a little differently for you. It kind of moves it into what's more of a plain text format. So it, it's supposed to be a little less distracting. Uh, to remove some of the features and kind of changes the fonts in some places. So if what is on the screen is a little too distracting and hard to read, that's an option that we can use to make the screen a little more friendly. Uh, another nice tool is called the Page Mask. When you click on this, it'll bring up a little highlighted area while it darkens the rest of the screen. And we can make this area larger or smaller. And this is useful to help you or your student focus on one line at a time or just a couple lines at a time if things on the screen are too distracting or they're having a hard time focusing on what they're supposed to be looking at. You can use this mask to check out just specific parts of the screen. Our last feature that I would like to show you is our listen. If you use this and we hit listen without highlighting anything on the screen, 
it'll automatically start reading the entire page for you. Um, it can be a little much because it'll start where it finds the first words at the top of the page and it'll begin reading every word that it finds all the way down the page until you stop it. I think that's why I like the enlarged text feature a little better because you can pick exactly what you would like to listen to. You highlight it, you click Welcome listen. Your virtual classroom. Please pay attention to recent announcements above that your teachers are posting. And it'll automatically read it for you. So if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know.